Hello everyone, here's my DOF Reality 8.6 full motion chair. I use it for flight simulation. I'm a private pilot in real life. I fly the Cessna 172 and when I'm not flying for real, I use this to stay proficient. So it's a real nice chair. It has a six degrees of freedom. It has yaw, pitch, roll, heave, surge and sway. And my goal as a private pilot is to uh, get my instrument rating. So what I do is I use this to uh, practice instrument flights. So in this short video, I'll show you how the chair operates, and I'll also be using a, um, a ATC program called Pilot Edge, where you have to talk to real uh, aircraft controllers. So it's uh, pretty realistic. And I also use a VR headset, which adds to the realism. And this particular headset is the HP Reverb G2. Real nice headset. So let's get this started. All right, everyone, here's the DOF Reality H6 full motion chair. I put it together myself. It took about six hours to assemble it. First, we'll talk about the yoke and rudder pedals. Rudder pedals are from SciTech. And they're just held on by two screws from underneath. The yoke is from SciTech. So is the throttle quadrant. The chair is a GT Omega chair. Weighs about 32 pounds. Seat belts are from Amazon. And I just attached them underneath like that. And when I assembled this chair, I had to put the three gas struts on first before the rods. The one, the second strut back there, and the third strut right there. And what you have to do is when you put the struts on, you have to compress them. So I used a ratchet strap. I strapped it here. And I wrapped it around here and I started to ratchet it so the strut can compress. And then once the strut is compressed, you can put these two rods on. All right, everyone, we're going to test the six different axes on this DOF Reality 8.6 full motion chair. Here's the pitch. Pitch up. Pitch down. Here's the roll, roll left, roll right. Here's the yaw, yaw left, yaw right. Here's the sway. Here's the surge. Here's the heave. And 
here's another one called a traction loss for you can use it for racing games Here's my PC setup. This is a Thermaltake PC case. And I have three hard drives. This is a, a two terabyte hard drive and that's for the Steam VR games. My second hard drive is another two terabyte hard drive and that's for the operating system. And the third hard drive is a four terabyte hard drive and that's for the X-Plane simulator and the Orbix scenery all on that hard drive. My motherboard is a Z590 Tomahawk with Wi-Fi. There's the Wi-Fi antennas. And I have 64 gigabytes of DDR4 3600 memory. My processor is a i9 10 900k and I'm overclocking it um, to 5 gigs right now and I use the Intel extreme tuning utility for that my CPU cooler is a cooler master all-in-one cooler my power supply is a 1200 watt power supply and my graphics card is the Zotac RTX 3090 and since I didn't connect it to the motherboard, I have a standoff card. What do they call it from Thermotake? Because it's just too long. So I had to connect it to the side of the case like that, mount it vertically. And it goes in like that. As I'm getting into the chair, I like to pull my seat belt pretty tight because I can feel more of the movement of the chair. I also keep a smaller chair beside me so I can rest the uh, VFR controller on it. As airport, ATIS information golf okay, well, two three five one golf. Zulu, wind one zero. All right, welcome aboard, everybody. We're going to start this flight at the Van Nuys Airport. We're at e Elite Aviation. I just got the uh, ATIS information. Now I'm going to tune into uh, clearance and get my IFR instrument uh, request. All right, here we go. Ready my, getting ready to copy my IFR clearance. Van Nuys clearance, Cessna 1728 X-ray is at Elite Aviation with Information Golf. Looking to pick up IFR to Santa Monica. Number 1728 X-ray, Van Nuys clearance, cleared to the Santa Monica Airport. Fly heading 110, vectors joined the Van Nuys 0 9 5 radio, then as filed, maintain 4000, departure frequency 134.2, squawk 4536. All right, that's Cessna 1728 X-ray is cleared to the Santa Monica Airport, uh, fly heading 110, then to the Van Nuys 0 9 5 radio, then as filed. Maintain 4,000, departure frequency 134.2, squat 4536, Cessna 1728 X-ray. November 1728 X-ray, right back, correct. 
Roger, number 3 2 Echo Foxtrot, uh, Torrance Tower, runway 2 9 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 2 9 left, 3 2 Echo Foxtrot. Number 6 1 Echo Romeo, cross runway 2 9 left, taxi to parking via Alpha, remain the frequency. Cross 2 9 left, taxi via Alpha, to parking, 8 Echo Romeo. Van Nuys Ground, Cessna 172 8 X ray is at Elite Aviation with Information Golf, ready to taxi. Number 172 8 X ray, Van Nuys Ground, runway 16 right, taxi via Alpha Charlie. Taxi to 16 right via Alpha Charlie, 72 8 X ray. Some of the add ons that I use are AbbeyTab. That allows me to pull up checklists in VR and also gives me a moving map display. I also use Reality Expansion Pack, which adds realism to the Cessna 172. I also use XP Realistic. Now that adds environmental sounds and airplane sounds, wind noises. And the software for the chair is called Sim Racing Studios. That allows me to adjust the different uh, motions of the chair. If I want to go mild, if I want to add a lot of extreme movement to the chair, that's a really nice piece of software. Montgomery Tower, Cardinal 19 or 880, holding short of 28 right on Alpha, IFR. November 19 or 880, Montgomery Tower, runway 28 right, quit for takeoff. 28 right, quit for takeoff, Cardinal 19 or 880. Charlie's right. Tower, yeah. November Alpha 6 and 4 Tango Mike's clear of uh, runway 29 er request uh, taxi to FBO. November 6 and 4 Tango Mike, taxi to parking via Alpha, man, the circle there. Taxi parking via Alpha, this frequency 6 and 4 Tango Mike. Now, as you see the movement of the chair as I try to avoid this collision, now that really adds to the uh, realism. Whoop! Normally I'm running about 30 frames, 35 frames per second, but um, because I'm using OBS and the NVIDIA GeForce Experience to record, I know it took away a few uh, frames per second. Order departure, Colonel 880. I'm also using um, let's see, the scenery. I'm using extra, what kind of, what's the name? Orbic scenery. Yeah, I'm using Orbic Southern California, Northern California scenery. Really adds to the realism. San Luis Tower, Skyhawk 716, Sierra Papa, holding short runway 29 are ready to go. North 716, Sierra Papa, San Luis Tower, runway 29 equipped for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 29 or 716 here, Papa.
switch to tower. Tower frequency is 619.3 and then departure is 134.2. Let's put in departure 34.2. Well, if you check Foxtrot, thanks for the parking via Alpha, I ran the circle today. Parking via Alpha, this frequency, 32 Foxtrot, see ya. Uh... 34.2. Okay, 34.2 is departure. My Santa Monica frequencies are for the ATIS, 119.5. Tower is 120.1. Okay, here we go. Van Nuys Tower, Cessna 172, 8 X rays holding short of 16 right at Charlie, ready for takeoff. Level 1738 X-ray, Van Nuys Tower, my 16 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 16 right, 728 X-ray. Alright, strobe's coming on. Mixer's rich. Get back into the pilot seat. Alright, here we go, let's fix this. Mixture's rich. Here goes the train. If you notice, right when I start to accelerate, the chair leans backwards a little bit. Now that's meant to give you the illusion of acceleration. John Wayne, clearance delivery. Charlie Gulf Sierra, Tango Romeo, Aaron 58. A IFR clearance request for Carlsbad. Charlie Gulf Sierra, Tango Romeo, John Wayne, clearance, clear to the Palomar Airport. Mr. Green, Sectors to join Victor 23, then out of five. Maintain 5,000. Departure frequency 128.1. Clock 3455. We're to the Palomar Airport um, by a, a heading 175. Victor 23, then as filed. Maintain 5,000. Departure 128.01. Squawk 3455. Sierra Tango Turn to heading 110, up to 4000. The number 1728 X-ray, contact departure. Going to departure 728 X-rays here. Eighty six Palm Springs, Victor sixteen, Blight. Uh, correction, Victor sixteen, Phoenix, direct. Maintain. Actually, I'm sorry, there's someone thing I'll stand by one, one second. So Cal departure, Cessna 172, 8 X-rays at 1,700, climbing 4,000. 172, 8 X-rays, so departure, we're going to contact, uh, you're going to Santa Monica, correct? Affirmative. 8 X-ray, Roger. 
The uh, Santa Monica Airport is uh, 1 to 2 o'clock, 1 zero miles per second. All right, report in site 728 X-ray. Advise on initial contact, you have information echo. Airport, ADIS information echo. 2351 Zulu. Wind 240 at 6. Visibility 10. Sky condition, clear. Temperature 22. 2.16. Altimeter 29 or 86. Arriving and departing runway 21. Visual approaches in use. Feedback all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact, you have information echo. Two three seven one thing that's uh, going to be uh, via uh, Apples Victor three eighty six Palm Springs Victor sixteen Blight Direct Kiwa Bend that's Gulf Bravo November Direct San Simon that's Sierra Sierra Oscar Direct uh, Maintain eight thousand expect flight level four five zero one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency is uh, 126.7, squawk 5542, hold for release. All right, station 2371 Tango is cleared to Cochise County via Apples, Victor 386 Palm Springs, Victor 16 Blythe, direct Gulf Bravo November, direct Sierra Sierra Oscar direct, altitude 8000, expect flight level 450, frequency 126.7, squawk 5542, station 71 Tango. Yeah. So I'm going to take over back, correct? Walk 397, so maintain 4,300. 4,300. Actually, uh, walk 397, so maintain 5,200 and give me a left 360. 4,300 and uh, left 360. Walk 397, 5,200. Then the altitude 5,200. 5,200, left 360. So got a part of Cessna 172, 8 X-ray has Santa Monica in sight. I have information echo. 172, 8 X-ray, uh, quick visit approach, runway 21. Contact Santa Monica Tower, 120.1, have a good one. All right, quick further visual, runway 21, going to the tower, 728 X-ray, see you. Here you can really see the movement of the chair. I'm also experiencing a little bit of turbulence. Santa Monica Tower, Cessna 172, 8 extras on the visual for runway 21. 173, 8 extras, Santa Monica Tower, runway 21, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 21, 72, 8 extras. Santa Maria Tower, Skyhawk, 716, Papa. Go ahead. Santa Maria Tower, 716 Papa, is 10 miles to the north, 3,500 level inbound, runway 30, information Delta. Santa Maria Tower, 716 Papa, and right down on runway 30, report midfield. All right, downwind runway 30, report midfield for 716 Papa. Santa Maria John Wayne Crown, Charlie Gulf Sierra Tank Radio, this is an India zero to attempt.
Lap's 10. Sixty Papa, can you hear me entering the uh, right downwind for right three zero? Right downwind three zero seven one six zero Papa. John Wayne Tower, Charlie Golf Sierra Tang, are we all ready to go at uh, Kilo? Charlie Golf Sierra Tango Romeo John Wayne Tower runway two zero right a kilo clear for takeoff traffic seven two seven on a five and a half mile final. Check traffic uh, runway two zero right at kilo clear takeoff Charlie Golf Sierra Tango Romeo. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this flight from Van Nuys to Santa Monica. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Santa Maria Tower, Skyhawk 7160 Papa, midfield right really down 130 to land. See ya. Clear 7160 Papa, runway 30, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 307160 Papa. Number 1728X, sorry, taxi to parking via Alpha, remain this frequency. Alright, taxi to parking via Alpha, remain this frequency, 728X, ray. see you, have a good one. You too. Bakersfield, Greyhound, Skyhawk 1477, Victor, with information, Julie. Connected.